I literally just had like the best sourcing day of ever. What is up my thrifty friends? Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're at, can you guys see that? We're at Value Village, <laughs> of course, my stomping grounds. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do some sourcing today. It is 30% off clothing. Uh, yeah, like everything, like jackets, everything and anything. I'm so excited. It started yesterday, but I worked yesterday. So I think it's going to be busy today because of the coupon. But um, yeah, I might take some chances on some other items just because I'm saving money and like two people just pulled up. Like there's already people here waiting and I think it's like 20 minutes till they open. It's going to be a busy morning. Uh, yeah, so I, my plan is to do this location and then we're going to head over to the north location as well and see what we can find because you got to maximize these coupons, right? And you can use them three times, I think. Um, I have signed up with Jeff too, so I get six coupons. I recommend if you have a spouse or a family member that will sign up and send you their coupon, um, it just maximizes what you can use. So my little pro tip. And I don't know, I have an open mind today. I had a really good thrift haul on Wednesday. Not big, but some really good pieces. So I'm just gonna keep an open mind. I'm hoping to find, okay, let's just like dream here for a minute. I'm hoping to find Patagonia, newer Patagonia. I've actually left a couple Patagonia pieces in the last two weeks just cause they're like old, so old. Um, I would like to find Ariat. I would love to find another Ariat puffer jacket. And uh, what else? I'd like to find another pair of cowboy boots, which I still have to list. I need help restoring those cowboy boots. So they're like a cream color. They have some scuffing, some markings on them. Um, I need to spruce them up. Any recommendations on a light colored cowboy boot? How to um, you know clean them up and spruce them up? I would really appreciate that. But yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I, I gotta keep the good vibes. I might even stop by my buy sell trade stores. We might even make this a four stop day. Oh my gosh, that'd be a lot of sourcing. Uh, we'll see how I do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna drink my water and uh, let's get ready to head in. I'm gonna bring these boots in and see if they'll exchange without a receipt. I'm here all the time. I can't find my receipt. Ugh, I keep forgetting it. Let's see what they'll do. All right, guys, I did not get a lot of video, actually any video while I was shopping. It's a crazy zoo in here with this coupon today. So I had to work really fast. There was lots of resellers, but uh, let's just take a look through some of my favorite areas. What is this? Tommy Bahamas mug. Oh my gosh. Uh, nothing that really stands out i don't know why but i always dream of finding a la crissette i think is how you say it frying pan um i've never actually seen one here but i know people that have found them so i can hope oh my gosh they're so heavy wood knick-knack area. Here's Lee. She's busy shopping. Let's check out these dresses. Oh my lord. Look at this beautiful dress. Sherry Hill. Wow. $30. That's gorgeous. That's like Little Mermaid Barbie core. Oh, this is a new one. I think that's like very Y2K-ish. Just the material and the drapiness. Let's see if there's any other ones. 
2000s for address. Yeah, not much. This one's pretty. It's a short one though. Definitely more like a grad dress probably. This is my least favorite area. It's like the most clustered. That was insane. There were so many resellers there. Oh my gosh. Um, I did score some stuff, so we're gonna go over those right now. All right. Ah, I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, definitely some good stuff. Let's dump this and then I can place them in the bag as we go through them. And then we're gonna rip over to the other location, I think. We're still doing really good for time. Holy Dinah, it's hot in here. It's like not hot, but very, very humid, I should say. Not, not too hot, but humid. Okay, da 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 da. <laughs> I'm way too excited for this. Uh, first up, I got a Jasper uh, Canadian Rockies hoodie. I might see if this fits me. If not, I have a feeling Emma cut. I, I have a feeling one of my girls is going to want this. This was actually our favorite ski resort to go to, to Marmot Basin when the girls were little. And we haven't been there in years, like 10 years. It's been forever. And we were just saying we need to go there this year. Uh, so that I was very excited about. I do not think that is going to hit my closet. Next up and everything I saved. 30% off. So that's, that's so good. Definitely helps. Next is an LL Bean red plaid. This is a little bit more of a fall item, but for the price, and I don't find LL Bean plaids very often, I'm going to grab that. I think it'll do really good on Poshmark. Uh, I grabbed this new with tags suede skirt. The brand is Twic, which is a Simon's brand. But I picked this up on style. I think this is so coastal cowgirl. Um, very cute. New with tags. Like, ah, couldn't go wrong with that one. So we'll see how that does. Uh, this is a new to me brand. And the brand is See You Soon. You may know this brand. It's an anthropology brand. What made me pay attention to this, and I'm going to show you it. It's... um kind of like it reminded me of a linen blend which is originally why I picked it up it's not a linen one it's a viscose and I think rayon but it's like lined just the quality in it I was like okay hey, there's something special about this I need to look it up also if you look at the tag I don't know how to describe this to you but it's like a detailed writing it's stitched into the tag these are things that I would be looking for it's also sewn on like here and here um, it just had a few features where I was like, hey, there's a little bit more money put into the tag, which probably means the piece is a bit more quality. So yeah, I'm hoping to get like $70 for this very cute summer blazer. Uh, I grabbed these Bigfoot sandals. I can't find Big Feet. Sorry, they're called. They remind me of Burks. Um, I can't find where they sell them. For some reason, I feel like it's Marks or something like that. But they're a decent cork sole, brand new, black, strappy. I don't know. I'm going to take a chance on those ones. They don't fit me, though. I did try them on. I need one size bigger. But yeah, uh, this Free People, this is a Free People tag uh, plaid. It is in new condition new condition i cannot believe how new feeling this is and the tag so not a color i gravitate to for plaids but because it was free people i was like i'm gonna take a chance on it uh I, oh i got some men's plaids first one marmot very nice plaid uh i pick up certain marmot pieces some i don't this I was taking a chance on because I saved the 30%. Uh, I got a cool plaid, gray. Love it. Love finding cool. Not a brand I find often in my city. 
So always very excited about that one. This next brand, I think I just talked about this in my last thrift haul because I saw a dress from the same brand and but it was like really overpriced. So this it's Cavu and it's like an outdoor hiking brand. It's like a granola brand. Um, yeah, I'm going to see if what size is this? XXL just like an XLL but I'm gonna see if he wants it it's really nice it's like really nice flannel I don't know how to describe like you know there's like nice flannel and then there's like nice flannel or like okay flannel this is one of those like nice flannels uh what else did I get TNA camo sweater um I have a feeling one of my girls might want that we'll see if it hits the closet this is actually for myself, I think. I love it. Lululemon. Um, it's a 2020 jacket. I can't remember what the what the style is. I looked it up, but oversized, tan colored. Oh, it's just everything I like. They had it priced at $55, which is absolutely crazy. But I saved the 30%. I think it ended up paying $38 for it. It's $150 dollar jacket so this one is for myself and I'm okay with that and then the last item that I grabbed that I thought was a women's because it was in the women's section but it's actually a men's and uh, I'm gonna use some of that peril I bought that peril that black um, wash your blacks to re renew them or whatever I bought a bottle of that it's coming today I'm gonna sample it on some pieces so I should actually share that with you guys um, maybe I'll try and include into a video the pieces what they look like before and then what they look like after and we'll just do like a little experience experiment um, I hope it works because it was expensive like whoa couldn't believe how much I paid for that and then yeah this lululemon uh, black oversized hoodie and I don't know, Jeff may try it on. He likes these jackets for like at the lake and just in the evening. They're usually like a heavy weight. Um, he owned one of these like, I don't know, 12, 12 years ago, probably a similar one in gray. And he wore it till literally fell apart. And he was just talking about the other day. He's like, remember that gray hoodie? That was my favorite hoodie. I'm like, yeah, what happened to it? He's like, it fell apart. It's gone. Um, so I don't know, maybe he'll, I'll spruce this up and see if he wants this one in black holy moly that was good you see why i couldn't record i'm so sorry i love the recording process and like showing you guys what i find but it was just so crazy so crazy and i was like if i don't make quick work i'm not gonna find anything because there's a lot of resellers out here so it was like quick feet everywhere and this lululemon jacket was actually behind the tail so i had to go look at it and i think a lot of people are passing those because usually they're priced really high and i mean it was priced really high but because it's for my own use, I can see the value in it. So, okay, let's head on to the next location. I was just thinking while I was driving and I was like, man, it was really crazy in there, but I still found some gems. And I think the, the coolest part about reselling and I know I kind of get in my head sometimes and I'm like, okay, there's lots of people here. There's not gonna be anything good. And that's just not true. Uh, we're all looking for different things. We all sell different things. A lot of the resellers are local resellers that just sell locally, whether on like Facebook Marketplace or they have their own Instagram page. So they're selling different things than I'm selling. I mean, there's some stuff that we're all looking for, but there's also a lot of differences and we all had things that we walked out with so I feel like even though I was like man there's a lot of people there um, I don't I don't want anyone to ever be discouraged because I just think we're all looking for different things and so many times you guys will comment in the comments and say you know I went into this section after another reseller and I found this this and this right so it doesn't it doesn't mean anything I know sometimes I talk like I'm, I'm like oh man this isn't gonna be good but I, I have to change that frame of mind because when you start to think that way you you don't shop as well either do you know what I mean like when you when you have an abundance mindset you are open when you have a I'm not gonna find anything you just your effort goes down too right so it's it's kind of a my a, a frame of mind when you're heading out there sourcing but I was thinking about that and I was like man it doesn't matter 
how many people are there. You can still find good stuff. Oh, the traffic is so bad here. They're doing construction, so I feel like I'm gonna be sitting here for a while. What do you guys think? Do you have the same mindset? Do you find things even when there's lots of people there? Do you find things when you go to sections that other people have been to? Um, I can't be the only one. I know, I know you guys think the same thing too. And if you don't think that way and you have that thought that there's too many people here, I'm not gonna find anything, I challenge you to change how you think when you're in the store and see if it makes a difference. Okay, I'm gonna try and get through this construction and uh, we're almost there. Okay, we're here, I'm ready to go. I'm like summoning the <laughs> good juju. Uh, yeah, I wanna be a little bit more thorough at this location just cause it's a bigger location and I don't come here as often. Like maybe once a week now, I never used to, but I, I have been lately actually. So I'd like to do a little bit more of a thorough look. This is also the location where I found those rail shirts, which did really well. So I'd like to find a couple more maybe. Maybe I get a couple more $50 sales. Who knows? That'd be great. Um, yeah, parking lot's busy, but whatever. We're going to do this. Oh, I hope I have a bag in here. Uh, we'll have to use. Uh, maybe this Play-Doh's one will work. Awesome. Neat. Super loud today. We're gonna go to my favorite section, sweaters. I see there's a couple other sellers here, which is totally fine. Cause I'm still finding stuff. It's a nice Burton sweater. I don't know why they ask so much for it. I mean, Burton's nice, but it's not. $15.99, nice. That's so crazy. Hmm. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. There's so many here. These ones are the flimsiest, so I don't think I'd pay $5 for them. I saw these. These are actually like my favorite sandals, except I don't want wedges, so I'm gonna pass on those. Ooh, those are very nice. There's a lot of sandals out here. Maybe I'll grab these ones. What are these? Naturalizer. Those are very nice actually. I'm gonna check comps on those. Oh. These are Sorrel's. Oh, they're asking so much though, but they're so nice. Oh, they fit. I'm getting these for myself. Oh, they're so comfy too. Oh my gosh, those are like brand brand new. Just have to tighten that belt in the cart.
I just found John Fluvox in forever. Like forever. Those are kind of fakies actually. Oh. A little bit of pilling, but we can fix that. That was really good. Like, really good. Oh my gosh, I am so shocked today. Uh, just try to like be positive with all the resellers. Everyone that was at the other store, I felt like already was at this store and I still find a lot of good stuff. So yeah, gotta change that mindset a little bit. All right, let's go over these new finds. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, first off, um, I got a pair of Black Hunter boots. They just need to be cleaned up a little. Uh, they had them priced at 16 bucks, so I think that should probably be like an easy 50, easy 50. I finally found a pair of Sorel shorts in my size next to new, no heel wear. I checked both of them. Also, I did exchange those Sorel boots from like, I don't know, a couple of videos ago. I couldn't find the receipt, but they did the exchange for me without the receipt. And I think just because they see me so much, I was like, listen, one boot's totally trashed. I didn't look at the second boot and she was like, yeah, no worries. Uh, next, gosh, it's gotta be in the, um, in the channeling, right? And Ariat, nice embroidered Ariat down the sleeve. And this is in, I think, a women's XL. It's pretty big. Next is a Free People. And like, what size is it? It's quite large. Yeah, size large. And it's like an oversize. It's an intimately, I think it's supposed to be like a robe. Like it buttons down. But yeah, I like that. I'll take 30% off that. Uh, I grabbed this one as well. So no tags on it like no tag telling me what it is actually there was a tag i'm gonna have to search it up there is a tag that says that it is a linen blend where did it go yeah so what is it it's 55 percent linen 45 percent cotton there is an rn number so i'm gonna have to look it up uh, and it was made in canada i picked this up because of the linen blend the color um, I think this could definitely be worn as like a login look. Uh, it's oversized, like just so many cool things about it. Coastal looking, coastal grandma, could be coastal cowgirl. That, I'm, I'm kind of excited to play around with different things. I did sell a linen top that, I can't remember the brand of it. Oh, darn it, I can't remember the brand of it. But it'll show up in my what sold video. Um, yeah, and I took a chance on that one too. So thank you, Wendy, for those tips. Uh, a Lululemon size 14, perfectly oversized crew, as if, I cannot believe it. And this was a much better price than the one the other day. And then a Lululemon gray Swiftly Tech. What, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to exchange that. Okay, I am gonna find the receipt, put this together and exchange that next week, for sure, for sure. All right, not too bad, actually. What time are we at? We're at 11 o'clock, so we've been sourcing for two hours. Let's head to the buy-sell trade stores. I feel like I'm just on a roll today. Even if I can find a couple more pieces, I'm on a roll. There's some good stuff here. And for the record, there, like I said, all those other resellers were in there. I'm still finding stuff with other resellers in there, which Sometimes, I, I know I keep bringing this up today, but like this is really um, a thought pattern that happens in my head sometimes and I need to stop it because obviously that has no effect on what you find. All right, let's go to some buy sell trades now. I'm sweating too. It's much hotter than I thought it was gonna be out. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see like that glisten on my face. That's sweat, that's sweat. I'm literally sweating. Okay, let's go. I want to 
find some good stuff. Like, please, 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 give me a couple good pieces here. right um a couple of good things not like huge but a couple of good pieces so i got these cowgirl boots second pair of the season i feel like the summer season i just haven't been finding them very often they had them priced at 20 bucks i will take those and then i can't even show you guys this but that free that jumper i was looking at is a new it's missing the tag, but it still has this attached to it. So I would say new without tags. Um, jumper, like very, how, where's the, there we go. Very nice print. It's called the Blooming Field. Um, beautiful material. Oh, I was just so excited. Okay, uh, they actually had that one featured a couple days ago and someone phoned and put it on hold. And when I came in, I was like, oh, did it go on hold? They're like, yep. And then when I was paying, the lady came in and was like, I put it on hold or whatever. Well, I just assumed she bought it, but I asked them to tell them like, wasn't this on hold and bought and they like, she tried it on and didn't like how it fits. So it went on the rack. So I have to definitely um, make sure I'm checking some of the sections where they highlight items and looking for when, you know, the person comes in and doesn't buy it. But I scored that. I was pretty excited. I like free people, like substantial pieces. We're back in my office. Um, I feel like I'm going to cry. I literally just had like the best sourcing day of ever, ever ever <laughs> this is hands down my best sourcing day so i found a honey hole and i can't share any information about it but um i found a honey hole and they were having a sale and i got a lot of stuff for a good price some things i paid up it is what it is <laughs> oh one dress one dress i paid more than i think i should have but I'm going to keep it for myself because I'm on this weight loss journey and uh, I want something ooh, I want something nice to kind of reward myself with so this is going to be my reward to myself so okay are you ready I know I'm like hyping this up okay so I spent $369 so like $370 at this store um, when I figured out my cost of goods, it works out to about $28. Some of the items are worth more and some of the items, a couple items are like not high, high value, but most items here are worth like, I don't know, over $70, a couple items not, but most are. So I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So first item I grabbed is this Rebecca Taylor size 10 peasant top i need to move over to the side here we go how cute is this off the shoulder or up it's just gorgeous i love this this is summer this is the perfect summer piece i can't believe it was on sale yeah they originally had it priced at 66 dollars, and i paid 18 bucks for that so that's a good deal this next dress is the one that I got for myself and it's Farm Rio, but it's just this, like cute yellow dress. Oh my gosh. I might even be able to wear it now, but uh, no, I don't think my, I don't think my butt will fit in the bottom part. It's a size medium. So we'll see. Hopefully I'll be able to wear this by summer or midsummer. Next up is 
for Love and Lemons. This one is a size small. Look how gorgeous this dress is. Oh my gosh. So cute. Oh, and it's a button up in the front. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. So it has a tie and then button up. I've been having a good run with For Love and Lemons. So happy about that. This next one I have never found in the wild. This is like the first time there's a couple things in here that i've never found this is the first one i've never found and it is hold on i need to get this out of the way love shack fancy oh my gosh never found this so excited um and it's like a black with purple floral uh yeah so very cute very cute oh this one's lovers and friends i've sold a couple of these recently and I like this one eyelet size small nice like it almost has like organza in between zip up in the back but coastal cowgirl all the way all the way cowboy boots with a hat this is coastal cowgirl I love finding trends in brands that I like this next is a nude to me flax i have never found flax myself so i got two i got this kind of lilac colored first one and another piece this one is also in a size large i think i'm gonna get a better price for these on ebay i did look them up on ebay and solds were like 50 i don't know they're all over the place they were like from 50 to 100 dollars. so I don't know what to expect, but this one, another one, very oversized and flax if you haven't seen the label. So I scooped both of those up. Um, this is a Free People Intimates and it was, or intimately, it was new with tags. Bodysuit, size large, love the color of this. I might try it on for myself. I don't know. We'll see. And then the last clothing item that I grabbed is this All Saints. And it's like a black eyelet lace dress. Very cute, actually. Very, very cute. I think, for, like, I know Coastal Cowgirl is like light colored stuff, but I feel like this could totally fall in with Coastal Cowgirl. Um, with like a white hat and white boots or whatever. Very, very nice. Okay, the shoes were pretty good as well. So I got these calf hair Ugg boots. Oh my gosh, so nice. And I paid like 18 bucks for these, not too bad. I picked up these Clark boots. These are nice leather, good heel. These were like eight bucks, nine bucks, not too bad. That's like Value Village pricing for me and they're in much better condition than what I find at Value Village. Can you guess what brand these are? It's not a brand I find often, but I will pay up for when I find them. And uh, I'll show you the bottom. They are AS98 and yeah, just so blown away. And if you haven't seen it, that's what it looks like inside AS98. These boots sell for a lot of money. I should be able to sell these for over a hundred dollars, which is awesome. And then the last boots that I got are these brand new Fry, like never worn brand new without tags <gasps> moto boots and uh these are in a smaller size i feel like they're like a size six or something should be in here somewhere i paid 44 bucks for these but they're brand new solds were over a hundred dollars like i'm hoping for more towards 150 maybe even up to 200 dollars. they're just they're gorgeous yeah, that's my crazy haul. It wasn't very many items, but like Fry, AS98, Ugg, um, All Saints, For Love and Lemons, uh, Lovers and Friends, Flax, Farm Rio, Love Shack Fancy, like uh, Rebecca Taylor, 
how much crazier can it get? I don't know. I don't know. I'm blown away. And majority, I want to say, I don't even know how many items. I think only two items in here. No, just one. Just that Farm Rio dress wasn't on sale. Everything else was on sale. So, boom. I, yeah, I'm going to be smiling all weekend. Now I have to get listing. So, yeah, that was it. That was my sourcing day. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so how much did I spend today? Um, through 370, probably 470, maybe $600. I don't even think I spent that. Um, it was a pretty good sourcing day. I did some damage, but I think this makes up for the other day where I only found like 10 items, right? Oh man, that like high, you know, when you're, when you're finding stuff and everything's going good and your heart's racing and you have like, you're on this like sourcing high, that's what I feel like I'm on right now. And, uh, man, it was good. It was good. I got so much listing to do. It's not even funny so much like there's so much stuff in here and I still have two Ikea bags that I haven't even hung up yet so on that note <laughs> I should let you guys go I still have to do a what sold video and sales have been kind of slow I haven't been listing very much so maybe I'll put it off till next Friday and then we'll do like a three-week recap or whatever I definitely have to get some work done in my business. I haven't, I've been sourcing a lot. I have not been listing a lot. And that is my toxic trait right now. It's just not healthy for me. I need to get listings. So yeah, I, uh, I don't know. My brain is like mush right now, guys. I can't even think straight, but uh, I gotta get some shipping done. I want to get some photographing done and get some listings done before we leave for the weekend. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're smiling as much as I am. And I think what I want to encourage people to do is like find new places, search things up, find new thrift stores, like within an hour of you, find new BST, buy, sell, trade stores, find new consignment stores, find like secondhand, like I don't know, church stores, like anything find new stores and adventure out and try new things because this place I've never stopped in ever and uh anyways okay I'm gonna let you guys go I have to get some work done I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend a wonderful wonderful Friday I hope this video helps you in your reselling business don't forget to give me a thumbs up and tap subscribe on your way out but I'm gonna head out I'm wishing you guys all many sales and I will see you next time. Bye.